Well, the man can say what he wants. <laughs> he's he's free to express himself on my show. Well, here we are again. This is another end of the week, and uh, this week is fun because, um, well, this week I've got my friends here from Abnormal Beer and Mother Earth. So Cameron, Jason, you've seen them both here on the channel before, uh, and um, they got a really cool beer dinner that's coming up on Sunday. Now, obviously, if you're not in San Diego, you're probably not getting in unless you have tickets because at this point it's sold out. We just won't tell anybody that it's sold out because, I mean, when you're doing things like... Um, God, I think the Fruity Pebble French Toast is the one that, that sold me. That or the the hot hen, the hot chicken. Those two definitely mm -hmm. jumped out. Yeah. Mm. I, see, I, I'm such a stoner. I would take two pieces of the Fruity Pebble French Toast and sandwich the hot chicken with it. There we go. Mm. Hot, hybridized, so almost like an Elvis sandwich, but... Oh. But so, like San Diego style. Funny, funny story. Um, this week I, I I had the I had the munchies and like not like the munchies munchies, but I was just hungry. And I went into the house and we had um, a fresh jar of peanut butter and some brioche bread and yes. we had some bananas that were perfectly ripe. And I got into it and I made a peanut butter and banana honey sandwich. Heck yeah! And my On wife, brioche. My, my wife walks in as I was taking the first bite. She goes, "What are you eating?" And then she saw and goes, who, the, who, do you think, who do you think you are, Elvis? I hope you I had said, baby, it wasn't deep fried. <laughs> I hope you had your pinky out on your beer. <laughs> no, I was Don't just, bother me I with my I was just hungry with my damn, my, my sandwich. But oh my God, oh, brioche and honey and peanut butter and bananas. I, sorry, I digress. So this uh, this weekend, we got a, a beer pairing dinner with them. Oh, we've covered some really cool stuff this week. Yesterday, we did a um, the, the, the Secret Paradise, a brand new uh, IPA. That uh, abnormal just released. The uncommon ground was our was our first collaboration. And I guess today we're gonna do another one. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, first of all, beer beer talk right now. Uh, ten out of ten on his blonde. Yes. 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 He's thank like, you, he thank just, you. He thank just you. nods his head like, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. No, it's, not at all. Blonde is, blonde is one of those catch-all categories. We've talked about it before on the channel on how it just kind of, you know, if you if you make something and there's no classification for it, call it a blonde. Why not? Um, I the, your approach is the most beerist beer centric approach because it really does it has its own presence to it like it could be a category all of its own the way you put it together so I I, I set it as a category above and your blonde might be the only blonde I ever have in my fridge again I can make that promise but <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah I guess we, we better talk about this last collab because uh, we're coming up on our intro Are you guys ready for uh, this last beer we're ready me too we're getting we're, we're getting into it right now. Oh, I love the intro. Here we are on a Friday. I'm kind of sad because, um, well, I mean, our week together is ending, but at least we get to do it with another one of your collaboration beers. As on Sunday, there's going to be a huge beer dinner with our friends from Abnormal Beer, Jason, Cameron from Mother Earth. All week we've been hanging out with them, been enjoying some delicious beers. Uh, Wednesday we did the collaboration that you guys did at Mother Earth Brewing that's going to be a part of this dinner. I guess today we'll end the week with uh, a beer that you guys brewed at Abnormal. And uh, talk about uh, talk about what we're getting into. Well, we made a cold IPA, and we tried to make this as true to style. So it's massively hopped with Citra, and then just like slightly less Simcoe, and then we put a little bit of mosaic at the very end just to to round out that dankness. So give me a quick thing because I don't think cold IPAs really have gripped a lot of beer society amongst the uh, the, the common folk like uh, it, it, we were expecting. It, it kind of went the, it kind of went the way of brute, but not quite as obscure. I think the best way to describe it is a westier West Coast. <laughs> wow! I can't go. I can't go. I can't go <laughs> that any was more epic. west. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it just uh, hi heighten up farther. the bitterness, get the malt even lighter. So using a fair amount of rice, a fair amount of dextrose, get it as dry and bitter as possible. Use a lot of this classic sea hops. I I. I <laughs> I, I feel like I'm gonna sweat hops after drinking this. There, it is loaded yeah, with it. Yeah, this is just wrung out with hops. I mean, that's, it's awesome. That's the way it should but be. clean though, not 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 uh, grassy. No, I wouldn't. Like I wouldn't that. say it's like a tongue sweater. Like I don't yeah. feel like I need to brush my tongue between every sip. Mm -hmm. Like the the dryness on it finishes really really clean. But I mean, you get so much flour on the front end, so much brilliance of the hop. It is. Um, this is a real treat. Yeah, all the way through the palate too. It just layers your mouth. It's really really nice. It'll go great with the baby back ribs that we're serving with it. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Give me the caramelization of that barbecue and that hot flavor right there. And that's the third course. 
Get the out ribs of here. are the third course, so third you still got to get through the. Uh, uh, hibachi? The, what was the what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the name of that first? The course? the black in hamachi crudo. The hamachi crudo. The hamachi yes. crudo. Yes. That goes with the, the tier Nashville and hot, the Nashville fried hot hen. Oh. You know, baby if, back ribs, fruity pebble, French toast. If I really wanted to, to to mess with this beer, the only thing I would do to it, I was add a little bit of lactose and I'd throw it in a Slurpee machine. Oh, you imagine imagine a little extra sweetness with all that hop. All poured into a frosty glass. <laughs> just, just put it. You know what we need is one of those uh, smoothie machines that they have. You know, at wine bars they serve the. Uh, what do they call that uh, uh, with rosé? Frosé, like <laughs> rose. a beer frosé. That's it's, this it's, would be it's awesome. Actually, what made me think about throwing this in that? Oh, we've knocked it out of the park. Uh, I can't. Um, I can't. Is this going to be available after the beer dinner? It will be available. Exclusively at the beer dinner first. Otherwise, you have to wait till the following Tuesday to pick up this beer. Okay, so Sunday beer dinner first shot. Tuesday, if you don't get it at the beer dinner, um, this is worth lining up for. Is this going to be in cans or are we do in fills at the, the brewery? This will be in cans. Very limited. Oh, I'm going to add a whale to my collection on Tuesday. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, thank you for a, a great week of uh, drinking beer. Cheers, um, boys. Is, this, is, this is definitely hold on, the... Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, yeah. do, this right. oh. do this right. Thank you for not disrespecting us with your empty this, glass. This is definitely the crowning achievement of, yes. uh, of what we've uh, done here this week. And um, mm. oh. mm -hmm. with that, we're going to go out with one more song. Who wants to intro what we're going out with? Them Crooked Vultures. Oh, oh, that's right. I actually got it right this time. Yeah, you did. New Fang, because uh, this beer got bite. Woo! And Perfect. we're done. Look at that. All right, we're done. We're going to finish uh, what's left of that growler and get out of here for the weekend. Uh, next week, I do believe Alesmith will be in. We'll see. Zach hasn't quite returned my, uh, my messages yet, but um, I'll send him this clip and maybe he will.